Welcome back to the channel guys. We got this seat of ether behind me in the shop for some tuning. Let's take a look. Uh. All right then, we've got some 1000cc Bosch injectors. We've got a Garrett G25 550 turbo, forged engine. We've got some ADR or what's the code now for the naturally aspirated camshafts in cylinder head. Can't remember off the top of your head. Um, got big front mount in a cooler. Limited slip diff gearbox. Three inch downpipe, all your necessary equipment for mucho boostings. You know what they say, shiny is fast. I nearly forgot, it's got a Supertech valve train. I've also fitted this uh, GFB boost controller to the car. So we've got in-car switchable boost on the fly, no one to turn off to swap maps, etc. We can flick through them from preset to preset. So position one, that's the reading in bar. So you adjust the duty cycle to suit Taking up and going up. I've just done some presets. So slowly creeping up. Bar rain. And then. I don't know if I'll run that one. And the scramble. Scramble mode you can have on a button. So you can set that to whatever boost you want. But instantly on a button. So kind of a moon tune button, if you will. These are a good unit. Um, available in our store. There's a plug for you. Um, also, they have the option to say if you've got a standalone ECU or something, give out a um, 0 to 5 volt signal for AFR. You can actually set some preset in there for like a lean condition. So, so you come up on boost, it'll actually take that as an input and a safety strategy to like cut the boost if it's lean which is a pretty cool feature. Comes with a genuine um, three-port MAC valve, which itself, I think a genuine one, what a genuine one's about 80 quid or something. This whole unit's about 310 quid all in. Um, yeah, really good unit. I'll just fired it up. And now I'm gonna put it on the dyno.
Google it. Just what my file was here. See that there? Spraying out there. Yeah, so you probably saw on that one of them clips, all the seam come out. A hose rub through on the radiator cowl in down there. So I put a temporary hose joiner in. Just see it in the middle. Uh, I'm trying to bleed it up and I'm in trouble. It won't circulate. So I've just took the pipe off the header tank. Looks to be something in there. The pipe was obviously covering that up. And I think the pipe's blocked. So I'm going to get something to see if we can poke it through. So, run a drill bit through it. It's unblocked, but I can see what's happened. You can see what's happened. A Jubilee clip on there. That's exactly where it was. See that side profile? Yeah, it's literally been tightened up. I've already closed it off, and then as soon as it's got a small bit of dirt through the system, it's blocked it solid. But now we're nice and free, so we'll get it going again. Should be good. Right then, numbers time. So we did a few runs. The boost control is settable by quite a, six different presets, but I just thought I'd uh, do a quick three. So as you can see there, uh, 1.25 bar, 1.9, 1.85, that's what um, it indicates on the boost gauge, the maximum boost from that run. It flashes up, so I've just added it there. So on our lowest horsepower, or lowest boost setting, should I say, um, 331 uh, wheel horsepower 364.5 brake horsepower uh, 321 torque and then calculate for which I'm to dyno in a higher gear I think this has bumped the torque figure up slightly because um, it seems a little bit high but um, 453 uh, 353 sorry um, 1.9 bar 510 horsepower, 447 foot pound of torque, 491 foot pound of torque. That's what I was on about to, um, the way the gear ratio is. But as you can see, the difference between low run and the biggest boost run. I mean, that's just on a button on the dash, and you can go from 364 to 510. So. Not bad. <laughs> so then, it's test drive time. Out on the street, got it in boost preset one, which is as low as it'll go. It's about 1.2 bar, just higher, I think, I think it creeps to. Car had an annoying exhaust rattle. But it was just a screamer pipe touching on the subframe, so I just wazzed it on the ramp, just adjusted that. Doesn't do it anymore. A few more noises here and there, but nothing we need to bother about. Sun's out. Guns out.
pulls well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that was 1.5 bar. We do have a one point, just over 1.8 bar saying. We're just peeling the wheels at 1.5 bar. And it's totally dry, the sun's out. Once we get rolling, it really digs in, it's fast. It's a bit mental really, isn't it? video guys um, this car's pretty mental to be honest um, as you can see 500 horsepower in a little car like this front wheel drive absolute hoonmobile funny um, yeah <laughs> I'll see you later damn hold up wait a minute a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.